Welcome to this edition of Girl Scout News. Today, Zoe will be interviewing Isabella. They'll be talking about the upcoming solar eclipse. I bet they're up to something real fun right now. Over to you, Zoe. Which looks better, this or this? You're on air. You're on air. Milk, eggs, cheese. That's your shopping list. Oh, um, yes. Welcome, Isabella, and you're here to talk to us today about the solar eclipse. Social eclipse? No, the solar eclipse, you know, when the moon blocks the sun. What? It's exciting, right? The last time we had a solar eclipse was in the U.S. at 1979. That was even before cable was invented. Now you're saying the sun will disappear from the sky. The sun, when will this happen? The sun doesn't disappear. The moon only blocks it for a few minutes, and this will happen on August 21st. Wow. Cool, I want to see this. Where can I see it? You can see it banning through the U.S. Here's the map. Thank you, Isabella and Zoe, for that fascinating interview. Yeah, it was really cool. Now let's find out what it'll look like during the eclipse. Hi. My name is Bridget. I'm Rory. I'm Katarina. We're going to tell you what you'll see during a solar eclipse. First contact is when the moon is taking a little sliver out of the sun. Second contact, or totality, is when the moon fully covers the sun. Third contact is when the moon is leaving the sun. Fourth contact is when the moon is not covering the sun anymore. There are two special effects you might see in to at totality. Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect. Here are two time-lapse illustrations of these effects. Bailey's beads happen during totality. It's when the corona's rays peek out of the sides of the moon and resemble a string of bright beads. The diamond ring effect is right before totality or second contact. It's when the moon's craters reflect a little bit of the sun left and turn it into something that resembles a diamond. Now you know on August 21st, 2017 will be the eclipse. The next one will be in 2019. Thanks for watching and learning about what you will see during the total solar eclipse. The flower espresso is really good. I should get that myself. Whoa! What's oh, this? No. <laughs> These are facts from my research project. I'm doing what causes a solar eclipse. It says here that a total solar eclipse happens when the moon is exactly between the sun and the earth. The solar eclipse only happens on a new moon. But the moon is small compared to the sun. How can it block out the sun? Imagine it like this. If this orange is the sun, and this dime is the moon, and my eye is the earth, or what you will see, if I hold the moon really close to the sun, it only covers a small portion. But if I hold it really close to the earth, it covers all of it. It's kind of like the moon's photobombing the sun. The moon's orbit around the Earth is <coughs> tilted five degrees, Earth's orbit around the sun. So the moon's shadow, usually missing the Earth, pa as it passes below and above our planet. The new moon occurs every 29 and a half days, so a total solar eclipse isn't visible very often from the same place on Earth. But when it happens, it's throwing some serious shade. It is kind of like this model showing the moon's shadow passing over the states. The solar eclipse is so cool! I'm Kiwi. I'm Carmel. I'm Junior. And I'm Everine. 
and we're going to show you how to use a solar clip safely. Now, now we're, we're going to talk about the eye. eye. The dark blue lines in the back of the eye are called the optic nerves. The red and blue vessels coming out of the back of the eye into the middle are called the blood vessels. The green part of the eye is called the lens. The cornea is in the front of the eye, which is the purple part. The sclera is the first layer of the eye. The choroid is the second layer of the eye. And the retina is the third layer of the eye that is light sensitive. And the last thing is the pupil that is in the middle of the lens. Now we are going to talk about the special glasses. Rod-shaped cells allow you to see shapes. And cone-shaped cells allow you to see colors. But if you, don't, but if you look at the clips without the glasses, it could damage both of them. If you wear the glasses, your eyes will be safe. You have to make sure not to touch the lenses or scratch them, otherwise they will definitely not work. Hey Evergreen, are you ready for the solar eclipse? Yeah, I have two pairs of sunglasses and an eye for the eclipse. Actually, you need these special glasses. If you don't wear these glasses, then it could cause damage to the retina or even blindness. Make sure you follow these rules to view the solar eclipse safely. That wraps up another edition of Girl Scout News. We hope you can watch the total solar eclipse this summer. This production was brought to you by Troop 45733.